The impacts of rudeness on targets are now very clear, right? When people experience rudeness, they suffer many, many, many consequences. They perform worse, they're less satisfied with their job, they're less committed to the organization. So essentially, if you think of, if you think of any negative outcome that, that could happen to a worker, rudeness causes it. There's less research on the way rudeness impacts witnesses. So if, if I see somebody be rude to somebody else, but the research we have suggests that it's almost as bad or equally as bad as actually having somebody be rude to you. So there's a study, there was a study that came out in 2007 that showed that the experience of rudeness negatively impacted task performance. And a, a study that came out in 2009 basically replicated those findings, but instead of having the, the participants experience rudeness, they simply witness rudeness, and the findings were almost exactly the same. So it suggests that it's, it's, again, this cognitive thing that people are just, even when they see it, they have to think about it and try to process it and make sense of it. And, it, and so even for witnesses, um, incivility, in the work, incivility and rudeness in the workplace can be a real problem. Now, one area that we don't know very much about is the perpetrator. I have a study where I show that being rude or uncivil in the workplace impacts people's um, well-being at home that evening. So we find that even being rude, is harm, it harms me. It's, it's, it's a problem. And so this suggests that all three parties, the, the target, the witness, and even the instigator can be harmed by rudeness.